So today I took out my new slider. Uh, it's a copy of an Edelkrone Slider 1. And I tried it out in the great outdoors in Daytona Beach. So I'll go ahead and walk you through what I think is good and bad about this. I took it down to the docks and just had a good time. Uh, one of the biggest issues I had with it was the fact that the uh, quick release plate that I was hoping to fit on there didn't really want to work because as you can see here uh, the slider kind of moves in an arc as you uh, pan across and this is a function that makes it uh, capable of doing sweeping arcs and rotating the head while while panning with the slider and it just made it really difficult for me to get anything onto the slider itself uh, I tried using just the camera and it made it pretty difficult to to screw on there uh, you know if you're ever in a, sp you, a speedy situation and you need to get a shot it's not very nice to have that going on but those are some quirks uh, we're gonna go back into my studio now and do a, a little bit more in-depth review uh, so enjoy I would go ahead and give this an 8 out of 10 for build quality. If you're on a budget and you're looking for a slider that is portable and easy to use, uh, this one's not a bad choice. The only downfalls with this is that it is limited to like a 3.5 pound capacity. And I actually have already broken this slider just from trying to torque down this centerpiece because it's actually supposed to swivel or pivot the head right here it turns I don't know if you could see that just there you could see it turning and that's supposed to give you a you know an arc in your panning so you could pan and arc at the same time but I don't really use that function and I was trying to use this as a speed slider for like uh, really quick stuff and putting a a uh, quick release plate on this and trying to tighten it down didn't work so well so I broke out a piece that goes into this area there is a you can see it's on a track here and there's a piece that I guess makes it rotate across this and you could change it up I'll show you here you could change the angle of the arc by twisting these and okay that's great and all but let me get readjusted here that's great and all but it doesn't really work and it's kind of adding something that I don't really need to a slider that could have been perfect if not for this issue going on with uh, production value I would say that this is a really good product to have to add to your uh, tools of filmmaking, even if it breaks on you. I wouldn't say that the uh, the main production, so this is production value. Production value. I don't think that this is a bad slider to purchase and add to your collection of tools for filmmaking because for one, it's one of the smaller ones that you could buy for such a cheap price. And it works if you don't want to have that uh, arc function in your uh, pans because I think the weight of the slider and me torquing it down caused it to to break on this little rotating head. And it's my fault completely that it had broken, but it still works just as intended what it's supposed to do as a slider. I wasn't looking, I didn't even know that it had the functionality of arcing while panning. And really I don't need that functionality. So 
As for spending money on uh, budget equipment, I would say that this is a really good product. It has legs that come out like so to add more stability, I guess, on both sides, like that, and one up here, obviously. So there's four legs that come out. I don't really think that's necessary. A lot of the times I'm going to use this uh, on a, a, a solid surface and I don't really need that or I'm going to have it on a tripod head. So production value is really, uh, it's pretty good. I'd say 8 out of 10 as well. And usability with this slider is pretty low. Uh, I would say that it's difficult more difficult than normal sliders to use because of the size and the fact that you can't really put a quick release plate on here. I haven't tried different quick release plates but the ones that I had gave me issues, enough issues to where I actually broke the mechanism that makes this thing spin and it would have happened no matter what so if you're looking for a quality slider don't think that this is going to be the greatest. Uh, and the ease of use they haven't engineered for how a camera operator uses their equipment. They just pretty much copied Elkrone and tried to make something that is competitive and budget friendly, which I appreciate because it works as a slider, but it's harder to use than a bigger slider because you get more vibrations with it, I feel like, and it's more cumbersome because there's some, some, uh, functionality on here that doesn't even need to be here and it kind of makes the item worse than it would have been just if it was a simple slider. I wish they would have just not incorporated the arc function or rotating head function because it really makes it harder to use and those are my thoughts about it. You could check out the test footage that I have and let me know what you think. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the support and new subscribers that are watching the videos and engaging in my content. It's just a small amount, but it's the start of something, so really appreciate it. My final thoughts on this slider are that it is pretty inex inexpensive, inexpensive, and it does the job as long as you don't uh, try to exceed the limitations of the weight and think that it's going to offer great quality, but for what it is, I really appreciate the small size and the budget-friendly price that it has. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this, please let me know and I'll try to get back to you. Again, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.